Look at Hornaday. Oh, Hornaday. Look at all the cars with nowhere to go. Sellers up into Logano. Pushes him into the wall. Kobolek gets the lead. Logano's going to have one more corner to do something with Sellers. He's really going to have to send it in. And he does. On the bottom. Sweeps up. Hit Sellers. Slam in the wall. Here comes Kobolek. Logano makes it first to the flag. Joey Logano has been penalized for rough riding. Matt Kobolek has won the Toyota All-Star Showdown for the second time. I think Mike Joy put it perfectly when he said Joey Logano makes it to the finish line first. He didn't <laughs> say he won the race, but he said he makes it to the finish no. line first. They actually gave Joey the 40th position. They put him all the way back to no. the back of the pack. And truthfully, Matt Kobolek uh, became the first two-time winner. He actually never led a lap. <laughs> but when they penalized Joey Logano, how do you do that? I bet he doesn't matter. I mean, it Matt to win, and uh, obviously they got credit for leading the last lap because of the penalty to Joey. And Matt was in a backup car. He was in a backup yes. car because he cut down a right front tire right. in practice and uh, and ruined his primary car. Now remember the eighth man and the man without a helmet came over the wall and put Joey Logano a lap down. Well, Aaron's is giving him that lap back. The Aaron's lucky dog goes to the 25 of Joey Logano. Well, Jim. And they're counting their blessings in the uh, Joey Logano pit. They were talking about how excited they were to be calm. If that makes any sense, we're like, don't get excited, stay calm, Joey. We're going to get that lucky dog back. We're going to win this thing. And indeed, they are now saying we could have been right in the middle of that had we not had the lucky dog or been penalized that lap. So they think there's three or four cars yet to race, and they think they have the chance to win this thing. And I think we're only going to have about 13 cars on the lead lap when they get ready to go back to green here. There's 12 cars right now when then Joey gets the luck, Aaron's lucky dog. Right. Then there will be 13 cars on the lead lap. Well, he more than likely would have been involved in that because he was right there and it took out most all his front cars. Yep. And you mentioned 13 cars on the lead lap. We've got a few cars that are making repairs and trying to get back out on the racetrack. And one guy who's not going to be back out on the racetrack, Brian Scott, is with Jim. Well, he's out of the care center, which means I think you're all right. Uh, well, how crazy was it out there today, Brian? Well, when stuff happens at Daytona, it happens quick. And um, we're just trying to figure out how to get around the lap car of Mario Goslin. And everybody was kind of shuffling high and low. And we went into three and four. And next thing I know, I saw Mario Goslin up high, and I just moved to the bottom line. So, uh, you know, I thought, I thought everything was going to be good. I thought the bottom line was going to work. And uh, next thing I know, I saw him sideways, and everybody started bunching. And I started trying to figure out how I was going to get through it. And, uh, I was kind of hoping Mario Goslin would stay going down the track and he kind of came up, clipped me the first time and I spun around and hit a couple more cars and luckily they're all just quarter panel, glancing, fender type hits. I didn't hit a wall, didn't hit anything straight. I'm fine. It's just, uh, it's a real shame. Our uh, Albertson's Toyota Camry is running really good. Everybody put a lot of work in through the off season. That car was built in a really quick time and whole, uh, whole team really did good. Uh, we had a great pit stop. My hat's off to all those guys and I just hate it had to end like this. With three car effort for Ben Reedy Motorsports, two horses are still out there. What are your thoughts about how strong their cars are compared to what you had in December testing till now? Uh, well, I know Joey Logano had a great car. We were able to work with him through the first half. We, uh, we got disconnected there through the pit stops and his penalty and everything, but I knew that I knew that we both still had a good enough car and a good enough shot even you know in the middle of the pack shuffled back from strategy and everything that we were going to be all right but uh, I don't know what the status of the other cars is I saw the 15 wrecked. I don't know if Joey's still out there but he's got a good enough car to win this if he's all right indeed that's the thought in his pit as well Wendy Justin Lofton currently running third right now does have some damage on that right front fender they asked him if he thought he slid the tires at all and he told his crew chief Mark Rett no I didn't even have time to let off the gas and get on the brake no sliding the tires but he did get some damage on that right front fender so they will watch it but they have decided to stay out the theory 17 cars on the lead lap he's running third right now they don't want to get in the back of the pack just in case that happens again so again, Justin Lofton leading quite a few laps to start off this race. Phil, was that you earlier today? It was not. That was not you? It's actually our Fox coordinator's brother. Oh, how about that? We'll be right back. Speed's coverage of the Lucas Oil Slick Mist 200 is brought to you by Ansel Protective Products. For over 100 years, the world leader in hand protection. By Arca Nation, get in, get on, ArcaRacing.com. And by Aaron's. Nobody beats Aaron's. Nobody.
while we're still under our third caution of the day, let's get you caught up on what has taken place to this point. We take a look at our Old Spice race recap. Starting up front, it was Justin Lofton and Allie Owens making up row number one. They continue to run single file. We run about the first 15 laps on the green, then Peyton Sellers spins. And while this is going on, top left of your screen, you saw the smoke. This is what happened. The one of Tom Hessert and the 11 of Brian Silas get together, block the racetrack coming off turn number four. And as you mentioned, so difficult to see coming out of four because of the sun and the smoke. We shot Allie Owens. Had a little contact with Eddie Mercer. That turned her around in the middle of the of the pack and a lot of cars involved in this incident as well. That's our second caution of the day. That happened around lap 30. Not quite over yet. Vinny Chastain comes along the 75 car, makes contact with Peyton Sellers and then the 16 and also the 45. While they were under caution, Joey Logano brings the 25 Home Depot onto pit road and one of their pit crew members came around the wall but went into that pit stall and so they were penalized. Yeah, we saw him reach over and bottom of your screen just a moment ago. That put Joey a lap down and there's this most recent caution flag when there's contact with Mario Goslin and Mikey Kyle and that tears up a bunch of good race cars. So this is our third caution of the day came out on lap 40. Jim Trado. And two strong runs in early as they're reviewing the video with us. Matt Carter, we'll start with you. It looks like you're all right, but that race car doesn't look to be. Yeah, I'm fine. The race car looks like it was junk, but uh, I'm okay. Um, thankfully, got the opportunity to come down here and race. And uh, it takes a lot of luck to get through one of these ARCA races. Everybody knows that, that follows this stuff. Uh, when you come to Daytona, a lot of people watching for the wrecks, and they're getting a lot of that today. So hopefully everybody else is okay, too. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll get to run the rest of the year and uh, be in Salem here in a few months. Matt Carter again uh, ran third in points last year and winning the rookie honors, trying to get a full schedule together. Already confirmed full schedule, Ryan Fisher, but this is not the way you wanted to start this season. No, we wanted to, we're, we're going to try and get the car back out there. We'll see what happens. We're running for points, so we're running for the rookie of the year deal. Just got caught up in a big one. Didn't know what to do, didn't know where to go, and uh, spotter saying hi, went hi, and just got tagged, and that was the end of it. Almost went over, I think. I don't even know. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be back out there and we'll see, see you guys in Salem. He escaped a flat tire in practice, a flat tire under green, and unfortunately didn't get a third chance to escape injury or harm here with his race car. He's okay, though, guys. As we continue to look at the incident there, the rule is if you get out of the car, you have to go to the infield care center. He made the comment, we're going to try to get back out there. That's why he had to go to the care center, but he'll go try to climb back in that car and get back on the racetrack. We'll be right back.